hello guys welcome to this uh, new video where we will be see where we'll see how we can use aws sdk that is basically a software development toolkit to build resources and to implement and to call the various aws services using our program there are three ways we can connect to aws as uh, the first one is console we can directly log into the aws console and we can do operations manually or whatever we want to do the second way is to use the sdks that is a toolkit that we can implement through programming the third is aws cli that is command line interfaces where we can call the various apis of aws resources aws provides multiple support aws provides multiple programming language support for this sdk that is C++, Go, Java, JavaScript, .NET, JS, PHP, Python, and Ruby. We'll go ahead with this Node 1 because we are doing this Node.js and AWS SDK. So today, what our focus is, we'll take one bucket. This buckets, and we'll go ahead with by creating a new bucket using SDK. To do that, we have I have created a folder that is an empty folder. We will simply say npm initialize node project which will have a package.json file. And then we will install AWS SDK. It is done. So we will say npm i for this. And this will install the AWS SDK, full AWS SDK to this project. Simply we can call these various APIs. There's one more thing while it is installing, we need to give this particular program access to all the various APIs of AWS. We need to create an user which will have access to S3 buckets. So let's go ahead and create an IMA user. This IMA user will be having user who can access s3 who can perform operations on s3 go ahead see. we have to create let's add a user see like this user will have a programmatic access but we don't want to give any Console access, just the program access. So next permission. I'm not any group yet. We'll say policies. We'll attach a policy. This will have S3 policy. We will be giving him this user the S3 full access which will be able to perform any operation. Select next X. Our next preview. This is S3 CLI user programmatic access. This user will be created between these in secret key. That will show how to use it. Let's look if this is installed. So this is installed now. We have JSON file where it's installed. Let's go and create one file and we'll import. Let's take it. Recall. This we are creating, and we need to perform this region. Next.
then certain this set this is the user permission that we created so let's copy this id this is this is not shared with anyone let post this so this three object is created and simply say s3 dot will have certain parameters to this bucket has to be unique globally not have duplicate bucket names there are things also well if there is anything we want to create otherwise this is fine this is a callback function first yeah. and it's better to the same directory and we'll run index.js is secret eo file spec we have a bucket create it says my created from a so let's see if in the bucket but it is my bucket from sdk this is created just now using sdk and there are no objects yet in this bucket so we'll upload more object here There are various APIs. Yeah, it's the same that we have created and the key. The key basically the file name that we want to upload. But from S3. E B create a new file There's only content body body will be the sixty. It is this is Prefer objects. Basically, what this is the body of the file, what data it will contain. So I'm passing it as a buffer. In plain text, we need to whatever we are passing, we need to pass it as a buffer or it can be a stream. Let's try this. So got the Mm. 
this this is my success parameter parameter and this if i create with if i try to create another bucket with the same name it will be created oh, sorry it will give an error index.js index.js it returns a e tag which is file successfully uploaded let's go ahead to the aws bucket and my bucket location if i refresh we have a file this is a text file these are various metadata of the object this is the e tag which we got in response 07 and if we open this file next file then this way we can use this three dot or not bucket object the bucket name and the key name Greater than the successor is is when if I try to put it another object, then it will override the same object with specify the same key name. Go ahead and perform these two operations. This index dot js. We should have the file should be deleted from that location. Snappy and if I refresh it, no, it got deleted. The similar way we can delete the bucket. Delete the bucket as well. Not delete. Send the error this one. This is delete. This file. It is written in object. It does not exist. So if I refresh it, this is how we can use SDK. In a similar way, we can have this implemented inside a lambda function. Then I perform these operations. So guys, this is. These are four operations in the similar way we have multiple operations that can be performed here whatever we can do through console through cli the same can be done through sdks as well that's it for today's uh, video please click like button and do share it with your friends subscribe to my channel for more updates also in, in the comment section please mention what else you want to see as a part of these videos so that i can try to to, to make a video on that as well Thank you for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.